I'm going to do something a little different. First of all, I always ask, how many of you have seen the movie The Cove? <laughs> Raise your hand. Okay. Now, a more important question, how many of you have been too afraid to see the movie The Cove? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's what I thought. Okay. It's usually that same numbers. So I spoke with, with Karen Boris to originally come and do this presentation. And she said, well, are you going to talk about dolphins or the BP oil spill? Or what are you going to do your talk about? And I said, yes, definitely. And she said, no, no what, what's the subject matter? What, what, what are you going to be doing your speech about? And I said, absolutely. <laughs> A long pause. And then I said, I'll, I'll get back to you. I want to try something different. And you look at, at this, the spirit of this event and the, you know, the, power, the power of dreaming. And I wanted to try something. Oh, you got my cl clicker. Yeah, I'm here. And my earpiece. I do lots of crazy things. So. It's also in the movie. And I get out a lot. So this is, this is the second Sarah Palin joke. Someone beat me to it. You know? How's that possible? So. So I get to do a lot of things, and, and I'm, not, I'm not afraid of doing those kind of things, especially if it's for the environment, activism. I wanted to try something that was more personal. I wanted to, to uh, I have had the opportunity through the Cove to start using thermal imaging cameras, which is, is not, there we go. Yeah, that's sort of the activism. And uh, it's not a normal use for thermal imaging cameras. They're, they're used in a, a lot of uh, military applications, more covert stuff. Let me click through this. I was not office trained, by the way. So, <laughs> so as it came about, the first trip, I, well, first of all, I was on the Black Pearl doing Pirates of the Caribbean. I was in the Marine Department there. And I get a phone call from the director, Luis Ahoyos, and he says, hey, I just met this guy, Rick O'Barry, flippers trainer at a Marine Mammal Conference. Uh, you want to go to Japan and uh, try to sneak into this place where they uh, do nasty things to dolphins and they, they don't want you in there? I said, yeah, absolutely, <laughs> of course. He said, 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 well, when are we going? Because I'm a little busy right now. We're doing the biggest water movie ever made, you know, and there's Johnny Depp, Orlando, and Kira. And he says, um, but we're leaving tomorrow. So I said, okay. And, and, I, and I asked, then I went to ask my boss to make sure I still had a job when I went back. But um, that was the first trip. And when we came back, uh, Rick O'Barry told us that there, were, there were tarps that they spread over. Remember, there's journalists or foreigners, any, anybody, it's, uh, there are not a lot of foreigners there. There's a great potential for a lot of foreigners to go there. Eventually, that's the dream, to go back there and, and use non-consumptive use of uh, whale watching is growing as an industry worldwide. But eventually, that will happen to go back there. So we checked out these tarps, and uh, they didn't see that we were there. And I'm, part of what I do is creative problem solving. So, I called up this uh, thermal imaging company. I said, well, let's do a little camera test and pull it. And it was all, looking back on it, it was all very silly because I didn't know anything about how these things work. So they pull this tarp across, and then I have somebody walk in front of it and stand over to the other side of it. And of course, you can't see it. You know, it's like, this isn't going to work. It picks up the first reflective surface. So um, that didn't work. But it, it turned out that it worked out much better for surveillance. And you get to run around and see people. I could walk right you know, a couple meters away from people. And it actually scared a lot of activists that we were hiding out there in the bushes there. They thought I was like, the guy's trying to kill them. <laughs> but, <coughs> but, but over the years, this, over like five, six years, I, and I did this again for, for uh, a movie called The Big Fix, I had to sneak into uh, a facility that was using Corex at 9500 illegally, still dumping that uh, during the BP oil spill in the Gulf of Mexico. And I uh, got to use the camera again. And over the years, you get, you, you get all these beautiful images, which I see, even if they're in horrible places, the colors, the, the, the shapes, all these things. We, we don't know what, 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 what art really is. This is a friend of mine's piece of art. Um, I also, not know, I didn't know what all those funny numbers meant at the very, you know, at the bottom of the camera, all these, these numbers. So I took, I took a course in thermal imaging. And, uh, and I actually got to use the camera on energy uh, efficiency company that I'm working with now, developing some pretty incredible technologies. So I actually got to use the real application 
for these cameras and actually get data and, and numbers. So it's like, wow, that's what all those numbers meant? What we see, the art that we most normally look at is in the visible light spectrum. Right? I've never painted anything in my life, so I decided I wanted to do something that was a challenge. Put myself under that pressure and throw myself out there. I can, do, I can stand on buildings, I can make movies and things. I find it kind of funny because there was, uh, I, don't, I think it was either London or New York, there was a minimalist art show and there were four, four canvases that were completely uh, just white gesso, slight variations in, in white. And it took them about three weeks or so of, of deliberation to find out which one was the best. And, and you know, I, I, art can be anything you want it to be, but I, 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 uh, I called you know, Karen again and said, well, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to uh, take some of this imagery and I'm going I'm to paint it. So we, we see probably the smallest part of the electromagnetic spectrum. Birds and bees, they get to see an ultraviolet. That's pretty cool. What I get to see with these cameras is much larger. We see about between two and five. This is in millimeters, so in, in microns. And then there's a little dip around seven, and then it goes about from uh, eight to 14. Sulfur dioxide, by the way, happens to be in that 7.4 range. Something like, something like that. This is all the science you're going to get from this. But and anyway, it's very cool to be able to see this stuff and especially switch around all the color palettes. And, um, and, you, and you have one of these cameras. And you, so you're in Tokyo, you're in, in New Orleans, um, and everything looks really, well, it looks, it looks strange. It looks beautiful. So. Surveillance, I, I discussed that, the military, a lot, of, a, a lot of people at this conference, there were a lot of cops there, and uh, got, got some really good information, and uh, I'm probably, there's like 600 people, a lot of engineers, a lot of energy audits, um, you, you know, people insulate, I think they're required now for leads for doing a, for thermal, thermal audits for your house. Uh, oil and gas, aviation, marine, uh, we looked at that, electrical systems. Um, we're, someone was, we were just talking earlier about uh, breast cancer, and actually thermal imaging cameras have had about a 96% success rate at diagnosing uh, breast cancer early. So that, and a lot of uh, veterinary medicine, you can find the heat from infections, shows up as a, a different temperature. So it's not actually temperature you're looking at, you're looking at the reflected electromagnetic radiation. So that's sort of a misnomer. You're, you get a spot number, but there's other factors, there's solar loading or the type of emissive emissivity of the, of the objects, like whether it's, you know, black uh, electrical tape works the best. But what I like, I like to use it for is, like, you know, seeing, seeing these guys inside the cove and knowing where they are and, and being able to, and, and them not being able to see me. So it was very uh, functional for that. Here's an, here's an example of these young girls at the Osaka Aquarium. They're actually looking at dolphins through the glass. But again, you know, this is a new experiment for me. All I see is the heat that's radiated off of the glass. You can't see the dolphins. So, you know, if you didn't know that, it just looks like they're looking at glass. But what they're actually looking at is dolphins swimming around in captivity. So that, you know, that meant a lot to me to, to know the story behind the image. This one, they actually look like aliens. You're in Skiji Fish Market, the largest fish market in the world in Tokyo with a camera, and we lived there for like weeks at a time. A lot of it's in the movie. But, uh, so, so what these guys are, this is, you know, this, these aren't dolphins, by the way, this is frozen tuna, and they're being stockpiled. If they were dolphins, that would just be uh, not too good, so. But you get to ride around on, on these things, get on the cart, it's, it's, it's like you're in a video game or something, so. This one was going to be a movie. This is they now have high def cameras, which, which are really cool. And the movie of this one would be great, but because you can obviously make the connection of what they do to it, and it's very colorful. And I decided not to paint that. Oh. Nobody could really tell what this is, um, whether it's Stonehenge, like it says, whether it's a tooth, or it's just, it just, what is it? Well, it's just a, it's a cup of water. 
that's all it is. So, but you get different colors from anything. Anything can look really fun. So, procrastination. <laughs> so I'm supposed to find a picture for that, but I'll I'll get to that one later. <laughs> so, I did uh, I did a bit of procrastinating, and and I did I, I actually did do some painting. So. And, and, and that's a lot of it, is, is, is a lot of people don't allow themselves to, uh, to do what they really want to do in life. I'm, I'm guilty of that as far as I'm, I'm working on doing energy projects, clean water, running around all over the place. So I actually find the time to pick up a brush or do something or that you really don't ever get the chance to do and challenge yourself to do something. So nobody's too busy to make a difference in whatever field that you're doing. Well, you know, people always ask, what can I do to help? Well, you've seen many people on the stage here today and, and throughout this whole event that um, are doing that. I mean, you look in the, look in the mirror, you look at and say, what, what, what is it that I do that I'm good at? And whether if you're a multi-billionaire, you hit the donate button. If you're in the music business, you do a free show. You, you know, if you're in um, the media, you, you, you talk about these issues and get the information out there. This is my friend Rasta Butch, who happened to be in the room when I decided, you know what, I'm going to paint one of these things. That's what I'll do, because I've, I've always I've seen them, they look beautiful to me, and I don't really care what anyone else does. I just want to paint one. So he was in the room, and, he's, and I said, you're okay, you're going to be the first one. So that's why, that's why he's there. Now, I decided since it's art, and I, I do have a, an appreciation of the female form <laughs> that you can, you can play around with this and, and use this in a different way. This isn't a very scientific, and I, I took all the radiometric data off of it too. So. And, and by the way, you cannot see through people's clothing, but at airports you, they can see whether you have you know, SARS or, or swine flu or things like that. But um, yeah, this is what I kind of came up with, uh, is uh, these paintings right here. So, it was, thank you. It was, that was my, my challenge. That one, full disclosure, when you're making movies, eliminate the variables. Because I didn't, you know, canvas, paint shops, I don't know what it is. I did that one the other night in, at the, 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 the um, cannery, the Pineapple Center. But that one was actually uh, a print I found. I found out that you can just actually send an image off to this place in Texas and then they'll print it out for you. And it's like, great. I could, I could, I could. And, then, and then even worse than that, I'm flying over here and, and there's, you know, I've got my iPad on the plane, two people next to me with their iPads and they've been taking the photo. It's like, oh, have you seen this? Thermal imaging effect? And it's like, I take a picture and it looks like a thermal image. It's like, after I'm playing around with these, you know, like $140,000 cameras and paintbrushes and stuff, and it's like, great. It's, it's, not, it's, not, it's not actually any radiometric data, and it works in a different way. It works on different levels of light, so it's not true thermal, thermal imaging. So, so, you know, these, well, actually, he might have been hurt a little bit, uh, but I think, I'm, sure, I'm sure he'll get over it. So, back to the bird. And I wish you could... And I was taking it, taking it, putting it in hot water, putting it, freezing it, just taking the camera, sticking it in the freezer. And that's what I guess uh, the camera company probably shouldn't know about that. But um, that's my friend uh, Laura Kempton. That's her artwork, the Celtic bird. But you can do it with anything. So just for just a, to, uh, I think that was my uh, my last slide. For, the most important thing, and I, and I heard that there were um, a lot of uh, school kids invited to this today. You can do anything you want and uh, go out there and do it, and, and uh, make, anybody can make a difference and make the world a better place, whether it's through music, film, inf you know, be inspired and, and go out and, uh, and just do it. And everybody has the right to make an ass out of themselves. <laughs> and, and so have some fun too, that's important. Thank you.